Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. It's me Antonio back with another video for you guys today. Still early morning. Out and about. Was on my way to the park. But I'm gonna make a detour to the gym. Yeah. Get a little workout in today. Body's not feeling sore, so I guess the muscles been healing. You know, can't go to the gym every day. But wear and tear on the body. But yeah, so another thing that people have to realize, since the topic is always about love and money. Another, So one thing that women have to realize, see, women love being told I love you. And ever since social media came out, since, you know, they don't have to work so hard for an I love you. For the men that they are trying to get attention from, now they have the like button. So they don't necessarily have to be told, you know, shower with compliments and I love yous and gifts and all these things. They get their likes and their views and their comments and all these things on social media. At least the ones they like, right? It's kind of the same way in person. You know, they allow certain men to talk to them <laughs> or certain women to talk to them. You know, straight women go gay for gay women. <laughs> See, women, don't, men don't flip flop like that. Men don't play games like that. But yeah, so, you know, women, when you think of a man, <laughs> don't think of him as a like button or think of him as a, you know, creation and acts of service. You know, even becoming a, a wife, that's the ultimate act of service. You're sacrificing yourself to take, you know, not necessarily take care of someone for the rest of your life. But, you know, in a man, too, he's making, it, he's making the, you know, the ultimate sacrifice as well. Now, I'm, I don't, I'm not really um, going to get too deep into marriage. You know, it's you know, one of those things that people have to weigh on their own uh, ma'at. So, you know, um, and, you know, kind of a, an enlightening thing that came to me as well was the ankh is actually a snake hung around a cross or the hanged man. It's all just a symbol of higher intelligence and higher consciousness. But yeah, um, women. <laughs> so you're trying to tell me if I wasn't able to tell you I love you, you wouldn't want to be with me or you would leave me? Or take for instance, if I had my, chunk, my tongue chopped out or someone chopped out my tongue, and I couldn't say I love you on a daily basis, you would leave me. So, you, when we think of these silly motions and these silly words and languages that we use every day on a daily basis, and these different um, terms that we try to, uh, and these different standards that we try and attempt to hold people towards, you know, it has, first of all, love is supposed to come from the inside and then you share it with people. You don't go around sucking love from people. You don't go around being an energy vampire and being like, if you don't marry me, I'm going to leave you. <laughs> and again, people are taking their, their, their uh, own personal cues from these examples and these stories and these lessons that I'm giving. You know, these are not personal situations. These are not things that, you know, I go through um, myself. Well, you know, I experience them every so often. Lived 34 years, so I've had uh, quite enough experiences, good and bad. Uh, with people in general because you know it's not just uh, dating you know uh, it comes a, a business just daily life and things like that you know it's a proper time and it's a proper place for these different things that we uh, that we undertake but yeah so let's ladies you have to that's why I say you got to learn something new every day keep an open mind and keep a clear channel what if someone had a stroke and it's still the same person. Like, they still dress fly. They still know how to drive. They still, you know, mix the best drinks, you know, throw the best parties. They listen to the best music. But it is a certain switch switched off in their head to where now they can't even speak anymore. Because, you know, you can lose your senses, right? You can lose your sight. A person can go deaf and blind, right? You can even lose your sense of taste and your sense of touch. You know, you have nerves in your fingertips. That's why your fingers go numb 
or you can't feel your, your yourself when your fingers go numb. Now, what if your husband, we're talking about somebody that you already that you already been in a relationship with now, 20 years in, or whatever the case may be. However you want to measure it, six months, or however you feel like he should be ready to do this or whenever you want. Imagine somebody was trying to force you to do something that you wasn't, maybe you wasn't ready for at the time, but you're gearing up <laughs> to do something. And then somebody just tell you like, it's a complete turnoff. That's like meeting a mystical genie and a genie telling you you have a hundred wishes and you're trying to cheat the genie out of wishes. I'm gonna wish for a hundred wishes. I'm gonna turn you into stone. <laughs> but yeah, um, a beautiful example indeed. Again, you know, um, we all like compliments. Even being a man, I like compliments. You know, I receive compliments from uh, women every now and then. The most bold of them all are always <laughs> even receive compliments from men. You receive compliments from gay men. <laughs> That's when you really know you're doing it. <laughs> gay men give you a compliment. Yeah. But uh, I love you or love is a powerful emotion that we try to bind into. It's a feeling that we try to bound into a word. Um, the word love or Amore, you know, these different things. But uh, yeah, man, hopefully you find your happiness. Hopefully you find your oneness. You know, you got to practice self-trust, self-love. And then you can share it with people. You know, that's what community is about. That's what relationship is about. That's what uh, marriage has been about over the past few decades. Um, but again, people make things so difficult. It's all about the rhetoric. They're ready to talk so much and they don't even take the chance, take the time to listen and acknowledge <laughs> and apply. Like these relationships that people want so much or these big bank accounts that people want so much. You know, they spend so much time walking backwards then they never uh, take those next steps those next steps forward or that giant leap forward you know we're always talking about you know what my mom did or what my parents did or what my friends did like what are you doing just because you see again everybody going to club live don't mean you have to go to club live <laughs> what was it the lemur <laughs> that one little squirrel that the a bunch of them jump off the mountain at the same time <laughs> like we're not animals we we have a higher intelligence we are the higher human species, even though we're still animals, right? We're still mammals. But yeah, man, that's all I really wanted to talk about today. I know a lot of people don't really think about these things that often. And they, it's hard for people to learn these simple lessons. Um, they don't even like to hear or listen. It's like they're stuck in... Um, like being frozen in a freezer or being stuck in an ice age or being stuck in a certain moment in history, then they would bash the rappers. But indeed, I mean, again, what's wrong with being a pick me? <laughs> maybe, the, maybe the rappers did have it right. I mean, they grew up in the street. They grew up in the community where people were reckless and running around. So maybe they had it right. Maybe these women need to be treated like pick me's. <laughs> The way they talk about them in their music and their mixtapes, maybe they did have it right. Nah, I'm joking. I, I, don't, I don't promote that type of stuff. But it's like, how do you want us to say it? Do you want us to say it in a nice way? Because when we try to say it in a nice way, you didn't want to listen. So when we start turning the temper up, then you start to feel a way about it. But you still didn't want to listen. Then when we say it in a mean way or an angry way and start ignoring you in public, stop buying your drinks in the clubs. <laughs> Now y'all in, all in, in sex clubs rubbing up on each other with dildos because the men are like, it's a fine line. It's a fine line between things, man. The men are not turning gay. <laughs> men just had enough of the BS, you know. Uh, even gay dudes kind of have a higher perception or a higher knowledge on these things. They're more clean and more tidy 
than half these women out there. They keep their stuff up to par. They're builders. Again, male energy is building, not to promote LGBT or whatever the case may be, gay men. But some of these dudes, especially these white dudes, they cut the middle man or cut the middle woman out, so to speak. Like, we're just going to be us. Like, men, men, man on top of man energy. Builder on top of builder energy. Plus, plus, plus. There's no negativity there. There's no neutron trying to uh, find its electron. It's, it's two powerful entities building, building, building versus the natural ways of things, which would be a giver and a receiver. But again, you know, again, you'll never have a black man raised in the hood that sat around white folks in a professional setting and black women in a professional setting walk down a river on his cell phone and explain these things. I was recently talking about the oversold experience and, you know, Actually, this past 11-11, so I'm gonna close this one out. Actually, people can be born into this life. Again, you know, people are born with all types of weird, interesting, um, you know, baby geniuses and all these types of things. You know, they can be born as a complete person, not necessarily needing to find that special person. You know, I talk about the soulmate and the twin flame energy. all these different types of uh, experiences that we are having. You know, instead of being born and your masculine and your, your feminine is split, we have people that's able to walk that fine balance. And it's not even trying to do it on purpose. It's just the natural way of things. We all know we have estrogen in us. We all know we have testosterone in us. <laughs> like a part of being empathic or being intuitive is to know when your man needs a freaking back rub or no no knowing when your woman <laughs> is ready to eat and what she's ready to eat right <laughs> but um that's it that's all for me today man hopefully you guys learned something I feel like i got most of what i wanted to say out but you know as always more the saga continues as some water catch you on the next one